After a worldwide search and a 15-month restoration, the sweet sounds of an organ are once again filling Sacred Heart Basilica. It's all thanks to an organ transplant from one church to another church, but they didn't have to look very far. News Channel 9's Rob Hackford has the story tonight. For organist Frank Schultz, the difference is night and day, because 15 months ago this might not have been possible. You could only use about maybe a third of the organ at a time before it lost its wind and just died, which happened a few times. A completely new organ in its place, the old one at the Basilica of the Sacred Heart, was built back in 1910 and was a fire trap filled with faulty wiring. It was on its last leg. That's why in 2016, Schultz and Father Andrew Baranski started a search. Where it would lead them was a complete surprise. We really did a worldwide search. We were searching places in Europe to bring an organ, and lo and behold, you know, one, one little bird told another bird that, hey, there's an organ across town. I said, okay, where is it? And he said, when in the church over there. I said, well, let's go and look at it. Just three miles away at the First Church of Christ Scientists across from Foreman Park, they found their perfect fit. They plugged it in, powered it, the air came in, and it played. And 15 months later. And 15 months later, it plays here. So, so basically, this is, um, it's four organs in one. It has 800 more uh, pipes than their previous organ, and one by one, each whether bass or tenor, 2,431 in total were restored and placed. And what we've ended up with is about the organ um, just right for our church. It's an uplifting experience but it's always almost a sense of uh, gratification, kind of like finally we have an instrument that is worthy of this basilica. Worthy and ready to be enjoyed by all future churchgoers. In Syracuse, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. Certainly some beautiful sounds there. I've always thought it must be hard to learn to play the organ because it's had so many keys and steps. And Yeah, there is a lot to it. But yeah. you know what's remarkable is they did a worldwide search and there it was just three miles from the church right there. there. That's an amazing story. Yep, right yeah. close by. And beautiful sounds. Well, coming up here.